Uh, thanks, everybody. Thanks for uh, coming along on a Saturday and spending your valuable time in probably a set of um, exhilarating investment discussions. Um, I've got 15 minutes, so I'm just going to give you a quick snapshot of um, Ovation. The reason why I'm here is that, um, obviously, to spread the word on Ovation, but um, Ovation released its full year financial results on Monday. Um, and so we've been, uh, we've been here all week uh, talking about that. We, uh, it was a great set of financial results, and I'll take you through that in a, in a moment. The second, the second thing about it, uh, the second thing that we did on Tuesday, we hosted our uh, a conference call to support our full year financial results, which is a global conference call, which was well attended um, on the Tuesday. There's only a couple of points that I want to actually um, get across to you about Ovation. Um, and that'll be, and those two points, I'll tell you about them right now, in fact. That is, we've improved the core um, profitability of the leasing business, because we're an aircraft leasing business. And the second is we're about to enter our highest growth, growth um, phase in the history of the company. So they're the two things that I want to, I'll tell you that I'm going to, uh, I'll, I'll reiterate those a couple of times during this speech. Um, but because I've only got 15 minutes, I'm, I'm not going to try and take you through the whole company. I'll just try to take you through about the, I'll try to explain in one or two slides how the core of how we make money. Um, and then I'll leave it to you to look at our website. Um, the conference call, which is actually supported by this presentation, went for 40 minutes. So there's a lot more detail you can download. You can, there's a recording of that conference call. So you can get the full, full information on the company at that point in time. So um, the, other thing, the other point that I want to get across to you, because this is actually quite, um, quite good timing, is that you know, if you are interested in this company at the end of this speech, you know, please go to the website. Please look at the information that's available. Um, the stock is available, it's trading at a pound 39, I think, on, on, on uh, Friday. Um, we just announced a 50% increase in dividends, and that dividend comes with the stock for the next eight or nine days. I think it goes ex-dividend on 18 September. So if you buy the stock in the next week, we'll give you 1.5% back um, in dividends uh, within, within a couple of weeks. So that is a timely reminder, I suppose, uh, as to what the opportunity is. So what, do, what does Avation do? Avation's an aircraft leasing company. That is, we own commercial passenger aircraft and we lease them to airlines. The best analogy that I can give you um, that helps people understand the business instantly is that it's very similar to buying a flat to let. You know, you go and find the right property or a house to let. You go and find the right property. In our case, it's, an air, it's a commercial passenger aircraft. Um, you borrow money to buy that asset and then you try to find the best tenant you can find. In our case, it's the best airline we can find. The difference between property and aircraft leasing is this. Airlines will sign leases on aircraft for 10 to 12 years. That's enough time for us to pay back the entire debt on that plane and own it outright. And the other thing is, we get 13, over 13% 13 yield on our assets. Well, you'd be lucky to get a 10, you know, you'd be lucky to get 2 or 3% in property. So we make a lot more money than that. So it's a very simple business model. We just own the assets, we get a return on them, and, we, and then we pay off the debt as associated with those assets. So a quick snapshot about our highlights that came out on Monday. Um, we increased our, the, the total of fleet in the aircraft to 29 aircraft. That's about a half a billion dollars worth of planes. We increased our core leasing revenue by 17%. And that's, 90, you know, we, we, that's $57 million. Our total revenue was $60 million. It gives you an indication, you know, leasing is 96% of our business. Uh, the, the yield on the asset is 13%. So we buy a $100 million plane, we expect each year to get $13 million rent on that plane. Phenomenal yield, unmatched in virtually any other asset class. Um, we had a net profit after tax of $13 million. This is net profit after tax margin on $60 million of 22%. So what I'm saying to you is that we're high growth, we're highly profitable, and lo and behold, we increased our dividend by 50% this year to three US cents, which is about 2p. Now, if the stock's trading at around a pound 40, that's a 1.5% yield. Um, but this company you buy because we're going to grow the company and it's, the share price is going to increase. It's not from the dividend. You don't buy this company for the dividend yield. It's because of the growth that we've got locked in. 
um, and I'll take you through how we make money, which is the, the, one of the key points, and what our growth is over the next sort of couple of slides. So um, this is what we did last year. You're not interested in that if you're not a shareholder. You want to know what we're going to do next year and the year after. So a bit about the industry. What most people don't know about this industry is that every one in two commercial planes, commercial passenger aircraft, are owned by companies like us. Just because it has British Airways painted on the tail, it doesn't mean that British Airways owns it. So every second plane is owned by a leasing company like us. But our customers are the airlines and we want healthy customers because they pay our rent. And fortunately for our business, the airlines have been doing really, really well. Um, they've actually been through a tough time for 15 years. If you go, if you look at the GFC, if you look at the health scares, if you look at the Asian debt crisis, if you go all the way back to 9-11 when the whole industry was shut down for a couple of days. It's been a tough 15 years. But what's happened is that the airlines have become much more efficient. Things like Ryanair and EasyJet have come into existence because the airlines were inefficient. Um, this year for the first time in a dozen years, they've reported 80% bums on seats in planes. And you know this yourself. You go to any, any plane, any flight that you've caught, any airport you've been to recently, the airport's full, the planes are full. It might make the customer experience not as enjoyable because it's always nice to have a spare seat next to you. But all of you will know yourselves that that rarely happens nowadays because airlines have had to become more efficient. And that's a good thing because that's resulted in them having a, the record profitable year this year. So it's great for our industry because they're the ones, we need healthy airlines to pay our rent. They're our tenants. We want, you want your tenant to have a good job. It's exactly the way it is with airlines. So we've improved our core profitability this year and we're about to enter the, the highest growth phase. And the, and the, and the reason for that is, is that it's taken us a couple of years to get size and scale. It's only now this year we have half a billion dollars worth of assets. And so even though we're 22% net profit after tax margin, we think we can do better than that. And we can do better than that through fleet growth. And the reason why we can do better than that, I'll take you through the, in the next slide how we make money. But our two biggest costs are interest on the debt that we um, take out to buy the plane and the admin cost, just cost to run it. Now, as we increase the fleet size, the admin cost per plane will come down. We've already done that this year quite significantly. And as we add 10 planes in the next nine months, that admin cost will come down per plane, so we become more profitable. And the other side of things is that we obviously borrow money to buy these expensive assets. Now, the bigger our fleet, the more, cust more different um, sources of revenue from airlines that we have, the lower our cost of debt. And if we can lower our cost of debt across the whole fleet, uh, our business becomes that much more profitable. So by growing the fleet, and we're about to enter the highest growth rate in, in the next nine months in the history of the company by delivering 10 new aircraft to the fleet, we will get scale and we'll diversify our revenue sources. What you really want to know, and this slide will explain it to you, is how we make money. And if you bear with me for a couple of minutes, I'll take you through this slide. It's pretty simple. And you kind of understand all you need to know about aircraft leasing and our, and our business. Um, so we own the asset, we get lease revenue from that asset, and we have three key expenses on the P&L. And I told you about two of those already. Interest expense on the debt that we use to buy the planes, the admin cost of running it and all, all the people in the company. And the third um, uh, P&L item is depreciation of these expensive assets. Now that's a non-cash item. So what we focus on when we run our business is this calculation, which is we deduct from the leasing revenue, which is 96% you know, of our revenue, the interest expense and the admin expense. And that, and that shows you how much cash that this business spits out each year to repay the debt that we've used to borrow the planes. Because our business model is to get young planes, lease them for a long, long term, pay those planes off and own them outright. So, how, so let's go through the numbers. And year on year, because these numbers, and this is only a week old, this information, so it is fresh. We grew our leasing revenue by 17% this year. 
and there's the yield on the assets. It's about the same. So we haven't, we've grown a lot, but we haven't, um, we haven't sacrificed our yield. Now, last year, interest expense made up 32% of our revenue. This year, we've dropped that by a couple of uh, percent to 30.5%. And our admin cost actually went down year on year because we, we kind of got enough people to run the fleet. There's only 17 employees in this company. I think if we employ one or two more people, we could probably run 50 planes. So the admin cost per plane is obviously coming down. And you'll see that year on year, admin cost was 14, almost 14.5% 14 of our revenue. This year it's come down by 12 .1 to 12.1%. Now these are dropping straight to the bottom line. And so what you see out of, what you see is that in 2014, we, of the revenue, we turned 53.7% of our revenue into cash that we could repay our debt with and do the other things that we do. But it's mainly repay our debt. This year we've increased that significantly by 4%. Now I think that this number's actually got room for improvement. And that's, that's through this growth that we're going through. By diversifying our revenue sources, by lowering our cost of debt, and as we add more planes, we're going to grow our fleet faster than we're going to grow our headcount and our admin cost. So this number goes even lower. So that's what I mean when I say we've improved the core profitability of the business year on year. I'll, I'll take the questions at the end if you don't mind, because um, we're short on time. So this is our current fleet. Um, we've got a mixture of turboprop planes which run short flights, a uh, specialised 300 to 400 nautical miles. Three quarters of the, of the world's airlines use, the, use these particular planes that we specialise in. And we've got um, Airbus A320 family jets as well and a, a couple of um, Fokker um, 100s. These 29 planes are worth about half a billion dollars. We've got 12 planes on order. Ten of those are going to be delivered by 30 June next year. So that's 10 planes in nine months. And that represents about 50% growth to the balance sheet. So improved profitability, remarkable growth. These are, you might not be familiar with these numbers, but this is how our industry is judged against each other. Um, the age of the fleet and, and how long the leases are running on, a, on the whole of the fleet. Um, over the past couple of years, we've grown um, quite steadily and strongly, yet we've brought the age of the fleet down and have one of the youngest fleets of, out of all our competitors uh, at 5.3 years. And in terms of the leases remaining on those 29 planes, there's still six and a half years to run across the whole fleet on average. So that sort of cash generating ability is long term visibility into the future on this, which gives you as an investor um, a lot of security is to know where, you know, that we can make money again next year and the year after and the year after because these leases just ongoing and that's where the analogy with the property breaks down. You know, with a, your tenant, you're lucky to get a one or two year lease. And we sign 12 year leases with airlines. That's longer than most marriages last. You know, we have great customer relationships with our airlines. We have to because it's, a, it's a, a very long term relationship. So I'll take you through this higher growth and then I'm pretty much done. We've got seven turboprop being delivered. The first is going to be, um, we've already announced that we've got the five, um, seven coming. First is actually physically delivered, I think, later this week to Flybe. Um, but they'll all be, five of those will be, five to Flybe, they'll all be delivered by 30 June. We've got two planes going to Thomas Cook in February and March next year. Two brand new A321 jets, 55, you know, 50, plus million dollar aircraft being delivered, adding to our balance sheet. And then we've, we also announced last month the acquisition of an A320 that's on lease to Air France. Now those planes alone total $280 million in value. Now our total balance sheet was $550 million as at 30 June. The, I've got the full year financial results on our desk outside. You can come and see them. So that represents 48% growth delivered by 30 June. So we're highly profitable and we've improved our core profitability. We've got huge growth going forward off that base of strong profitability. We've, um, for the next eight days, if you buy the stock, you get the dividend as well. So it's a great time to get involved.
um, innovation. If you want to hear more, you can either access the full presentation on our website or come and see me at the booth. Thanks for your time. Thank you.